In this video, I'd like to show you how to change your view, rotate, zoom, that kind of stuff on a Chromebook. Um, it's a little bit different than being able to do it on a computer or a computer with a mouse. So the first thing I want to do is show you how to zoom in and out, and that's probably the easiest one. All I have to do is take two fingers and touch them down to the pad, and I can just pinch in and out, and that will zoom in and out for me. Great. The next thing I'd like to do is be able to rotate. Uh, on a mouse, it's fairly easy. I just right click and then move my mouse around and I can rotate. Unfortunately, on a Chromebook, there is no right click. So to be able to get a right click, I'm going to take both fingers. I'm going to place them down on the pad and click. And then once I've done that, I can take one finger and start rotating around. So that's how we rotate without a right mouse button or without a right click. So you just take two fingers, you touch them down to the pad, and then you can take one finger and start moving that around. So that's a fairly easy way to be able to free rotate or spin it. The next thing I want to do is show you how to pan. Pan is not rotating or zooming. It's just moving things around the screen or sliding them around. So it takes three fingers. You place all three fingers down on the touchpad. You go ahead and click down. And then as you move one finger from side to side, then I can pan. So I just take three fingers, I touch them all down, and then I move one of them from side to side. I have a really good luck if I take the two fingers and I kind of squish them together, and then I click down and then move it from side to side. So click and then move around, so that's pan. So we now have the ability to zoom in and out by pinching. We have the ability to rotate by clicking our virtual right mouse button and moving our hand around. And then we also have the ability to pan by just using our three fingers, pressing that down, and then moving around the screen. Next one I don't have great luck with. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. You take all three fingers and you just kind of double tap the pad. And when you do that, you'll get a zoom all. So I take all three fingers, and I just kind of tap, tap, and it should do a zoom all for me. All right, and the last thing I want to do is show you how to actually bring up your right-click menus. Um, earlier when I rotated, I actually took both fingers, I placed them down, clicked, actually held it, moved them around. To bring up the right-click menus is actually fairly easy. You're not actually going to click. All you're going to do is take two fingers, and you're just going to lightly tap. And when you do that, your right-click menus are going to pop up. We're going to be using those a lot. Like right there is isometric. I can come here and I can click on it. So it's just two fingers and you just lightly tap. And when you do, your menus will come up. But where your mouse is when you do your right-click um, will give you completely different menus. We're going to be using a lot of those. There's zoom to fit. Um, there's all kinds of different things that are here. So we've got the ability to zoom rotate, pan, and pull up our right click or right mouse button menu. And that's all I want to show you for this video.